Yeah, Lauren, Steve, look, a chance to walk these 27 acres of Shaw University campus in downtown Raleigh to get an up-close look at what university leaders are talking about when they say creating the Shaw U district is a chance to save the university from death. And that's something that we've heard over and over again in these public pitches, is that this is about Shaw's survival. Tonight, walking Shaw University's downtown Raleigh campus atop the HBCU's most valuable asset, its land. This is our science building, right? So this is Robert's Science Hall. At the oldest HBCU in the South, the campus's newest building is over a decade old. And as the tour made stops at Shaw's library. It's old. It just has a new roof on it. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, flat roofs. Uh, always leak to the gymnasium tour goers heard a similar refrain frankly it's inadequate it's from the 40s uh, most kids come into Shaw uh, went to a high school that had better athletic facilities the tour capping off what was Shaw's latest community meeting trying to win support for the Shaw U district a plan to lease portions of the campus to outside developers to build modern retail residential and office towers that would also serve students and neighbors tonight's tour a chance to show the community what Shaw is up against when it tries to lure new yeah. students also being recruited by better resource colleges in the triangle and beyond. How hard is that with facilities as they stand right now? We have to be able to appeal to a broad sector of, of students and that means that amenities have to be consistent with that. And that takes money. And that takes money. Critics again tonight insisting Shaw is selling out, that the school should use its own money without the risk of being pushed out by outside developers. Dr. Dillard pushed back. She told us yes, the Trump administration did forgive over $20 million in debt from one federal loan program. But with student tuition as Shaw's primary source of income, it's only enough to cover faculty salaries and pay utilities, not the kind of money Shaw needs for modernization. There is no margin in tuition revenue mm -hmm. to do the kind of, you know, capital projects that would be required. So we'll come back out live tonight. University leaders reminding folks tonight no decisions have been made about what is going to be built. They say they wanted to hear as much community feedback as they could before they start drawing up their master plan. Meantime, the city of Raleigh is considering Shaw's rezoning application. As we speak, no public hearing date set so far for that request. Lauren and Steve.